All right, everybody, we've made it to the month of August, which means football is right around the corner. Last year was a great year for us. Many more highs than lows, but there were some lows along the way. Bad beats is what we're talking today. Everybody's been a part of one. You will inevitably have one. I'm going to walk you through one of the worst bad beats of my season last year. All right, let me set the stage for you real quick. Duke and Pitt, we were on the under 49. Here we go. Let's get into it. It started off well. Six minutes ago in the first quarter, 3 nothing. Pitt's punting the ball back to Duke. One thing you want is that. You want to avoid that. Special teams issues, going to give Duke a short field here. Riley Leonard's one of the best quarterbacks in the country, if you ask me, and we see it right up here on this next play as he makes us pay very quickly. Block punt, and then we find a touchdown in the back left corner of the end zone. Started out 3 nothing with six minutes to go in the first quarter. Now we're looking at 10 points scored. Fast forward here. Another punt, another special teams issue. We just got it off, but then Duke doesn't know how to field the punt and gives what looks like a special teams touchdown to Pitt. Ends up being inside the five. Might as well have called it a touchdown because Israel Abanacanda punches it in. We had three points scored with six minutes in the first quarter. Now we're not even out of that first quarter, and there's 17 points scored. An absolute disastrous turn of events. All right, now we're just trying to find our way to the second half. 13 seconds to go left in the first half. 14 to 13, third and nine, and you guessed it. Busted coverage. They're going to get a touchdown right before halftime when we were hoping they would come away with a field goal. Now we're at 34 points scored going into the second half. Again, the total 49. We're on the under. We're on pace for 68 points. All right, after all that, we find ourselves 28 to 20, three minutes and 21 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Again, the total is 49. We're sitting at 48. Special teams issues has been the story of the day. We saw a blocked punt. We saw a muffed punt. And now we see this. The punter can't catch the ball. He's going to gift Duke short field position to go get points with ease. So we think. Here we go. All right, everybody, let me set the table for you here. After everything we've been through, block punt, muffed punt, dropped punt, deep ball touchdowns, busted coverages, everything under the sun, a touchdown with 10 seconds to go in the first half, we find ourselves with one play left. Fourth and 18 from the 19-yard line. You essentially get in the end zone or you don't. One play decides our fate on this bet, but this is a bad beat segment, so you can guess what happens. Here we go. Riley Leonard drops back, and I have no idea what the pit defense is doing, but I've seen this movie before. I texted everybody. I said, I know what's going to happen here, and what I knew was going to happen is exactly what happened. They let him walk in essentially untouched for the touchdown to rip our heart clear out of our chest. Go back through the whole scenario of what happened. This is one of the worst bad beats I've been a part of.